I'm ranking the top 250 individuals from the pre-colonial era to today what is now Canada, and I'm looking at number 57, Judy LaMarche. Judy LaMarche was born on December 20, 1924 in Chatham, Ontario. During the Second World War, she served with the Canadian Women's Army Corps and reached the rank of sergeant. She also worked with the Corps of Royal Canadian Engineers and with Canadian Intelligence as a Japanese translator after she taught herself Japanese. In 1950, she graduated law school and was called to the Bar of Ontario. In 1960, she was elected to the House of Commons. When the Liberals won the 1963 election, she became the second federal female cabinet minister in history. She served as the Minister of National Health and Welfare from 1963 to 1965. As the Minister of Health, she was instrumental in the Medicare bill that was pushed through Parliament. She was also the first major Western world government official to oppose tobacco smoking publicly. She also had a personal hand in drafting the Canada Pension Plan. From 1965 to 1968, she was the Secretary of State for Canada. In that role, she presided over Canada's centennial celebrations in 1967 and served on the Royal Commission on the Status of Women. Despite her credentials, she was often asked about home decor and cooking by journalists. She said, My tastes all became public property to a degree suffered by none of my colleagues, including the Prime Minister. Throughout her time in Parliament, Judy spoke her mind and fought for equal treatment. She retired from politics in 1968 and in 1969 wrote an autobiography called Memoirs of a Bird in a Gilded Cage. She went back to practicing law, and she typically took on civil rights cases. One of her most famous was her defense of the Brunswick Four, a landmark LGBTQ rights case in 1974. From 1975 to 1976, she hosted her own show on CBC Radio called Judy. She also wrote a political thriller novel called A Very Political Lady, followed by A Right Honorable Lady. In 1979, she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, and while receiving treatment, Governor General Ed Scherer presented her with the Order of Canada in her hospital bed. She died on October 27, 1980. Her pallbearers included Barbara Frum, BC Judge Nancy Morrison, and civil rights activist Doris Anderson. Peter C. Newman said of her, Judy LaMarche endowed each of her own careers with energy, intellect, and commitment, but to the end, she never gave up her essential gutsy humanity. If you enjoy Canadian history, then check out my podcast, Canadian History X, available on all podcast platforms.